Julian and I are back uh, for this Tinder creation series. What we're starting right now is to look at Julian's photos, pick from those selections, and again, talk about kind of the mindset of when selecting photos, what makes a good photo, uh, kind of the order we should put them in. And yeah, to give you guys some perspective on how we'd start from scratch. So Julian is sharing um, a huge dump of photos that he has, um, and this is really good. Take as many as you can from your phone, from things you've uploaded to social media, from pictures other people have taken, and then whittle down. And to begin, we're always going to talk about the first picture, because that is uh, everything in online dating nowadays. Uh, you know, like a huge amount of the user behavior is basically going to look at your first photo. And if they don't like what they see, they're just going to move on and swipe left. If they do, that's what's going to get them to match or at least dig a little further. So your first picture is absolutely crucial. All right, so now we have Julian's photos enlarged just so you guys can see them. And this is kind of, again, the whole big dump. So we already also marked the ones that we liked just to save time for you guys, but we're going to go through them all quickly, tell you why we overlooked some and why we chose the ones that we did. So... Again, we're right now focusing mostly on the first main picture. Um, these first two are okay. I think they show a good face of, uh, of yours, but maybe it doesn't have as much of a natural smile and there's somebody else in it. So I would probably mm -hmm. not choose those. And right. maybe Nick, you could briefly mention what, what you're looking for for a first photo. Yeah, again, I'm looking for um, somebody, a good look at your face. I think a good expression. Uh, so you're smiling, you look warm or confident. Uh, generally, most data shows if you're smiling, you want to look at the screen. If you're being more stoic or have another expression, you can look off screen, which is kind of a cool shot. So I'm trying to look for a photo that has a natural smile or that makes you look warm and confident in that moment and generally not with other people. Yeah, and also nothing's covering your face, right? Like, so no sunglasses, no, I mean, what about caps, hats, stuff like that? Sunglasses, no, because then you lose out on the eyes. I think caps can be okay. Um, I mean, like, sure, they don't know the full of you, but I think mostly people want the facial features. Mm -hmm. Like as so, long, probably the rule would be as long as they don't cover anything of your face. Like if you put on your head in a way so it covers your eyes, then probably no. But yeah, otherwise, totally. Otherwise, yes, right? Okay. Yeah, no ski masks. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. No, no, no COVID masks. <laughs> um, cool. All right. So those two I wouldn't choose because of those reasons. Um, let's keep going. Right. Yeah. I'll Same just thing. run through this a little quickly, guys. Yep. So we chose that one on the left because, again, he's yeah. smiling. He's looking a little off, but it's a good shot of his face. He looks happy. Um, I would keep going. That one on the right, Same. again, we chose natural smile, striking photo, looking into the camera. The other ones are looking more lifestyle. They're a little far away. I want him to be closer like he is in those ones. Mm -hmm. um, same thing. That looks really candid on the left where we chose. He's laughing and, and in the moment, he looks really strong. Uh, so that's why we mark that. Friend photos can go for later. So we did choose them mm -hmm. because you have some cool friends in it. Uh, Sunglasses, again, we're not going to make that a main, but I think of this series, we chose one on the right because it's got some cool, interesting background, but you also look casual and kind of like you're just leaning back and hanging out, which I think is really, you know, gives a relaxed feel to it. All right. All right. Same thing, I think, out of those. Mm -hmm. uh, like the one on the left, you kind of look relaxed, but it looks a little bit more posed. So that's mm -hmm. why I think we chose the other one where it looks more candid and like you're just hanging out. Yeah. I feel like here the smile is good, but probably would get it in, in color, right? Yeah, I would say that would be my other choice if you had it in color, just because I also know we have other black and white options. And guys, I think a black and white option is great, but maybe only one for the profile. Cool, cool. All right. Yeah. So those, uh, they're okay. You're just looking off screen, and uh, mm -hmm. I think they're not as strong as they could be. Yeah. This one on the left, so that's where you look great. You're kind of smirking and smiling. You look loose and walking. It doesn't feel like you're tight and posing for a picture. Um, and also the background is really cool. Um, so it looks yeah. like you're in the moment. Great. Yeah, this is a winner for me. 
all right? Those not as strong as the ones in the other series. Those two, you look maybe a little too serious or not smiling enough. So it looks mm -hmm. less personal. Um, yeah, it's a little post, I feel. Yeah, a little post. I like it, but it's a little post. Which is great for like a business shot, guys, or something like that, like a corporate shot. But in online dating, you really want it to feel like you didn't go out and get a photo shoot. Or if you did, yeah, you have a couple of those, but not all of them can look posed. Um, so same thing. Those look a little posed and tighter. Um, that's a, the cute boys again. Uh, <laughs> still not as good for a main shot. Okay, sunglasses mm -hmm. looking down. And That's maybe kind of... while we're scrolling through this, Nick, just because the question popped into my mind, uh, like what ratio of smiling photos uh, to serious photos would you recommend? I guess it depends on your personality. If you're somebody who's really kind of goofy and always lighthearted, then I think you can represent with a lot of smiling photos. Otherwise, I do think it's like creating a story or narrative in the same sense of profile content. I would have at least a few maybe photos or one or two photos that are just like, looking introspectively, looking stoic, mm -hmm. um, you know, concentrating on doing the sport, whatever you're doing, just so it has a, an ebb and flow of like, this guy has warmth and fun and playfulness in his personality, but also at times he's really strong or, or, or curious or, or something else. Um, so mm -hmm. I think smiling photos are essential and I would prioritize them. And then maybe a couple of photos that aren't smiling, but definitely more smiling than not, in my opinion. Okay. Um, yeah. Not yeah, those are off camera, camera off camera with friends and with sunglasses, so not going to be your firsts. Mm -hmm. Now, one on the left is a really good candidate. Why we chose it? Good striking photo. You're looking at the camera. Although you have your arms crossed, it feels like it could be mm -hmm. cold, like um, rather than posed. It's just a feeling. I don't feel like yeah. it's really posed because you look like warm and loose. Yeah, I think it was post and very cold. <laughs> so. Yeah, if I I don't think we were there, so <laughs> and, and it windy was as hell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. So like, yeah, I think that's fine. It doesn't look posed to me. Cool. All right. That's kind of cool. I mean, the backdrop's cool. You're probably a little far away in those. Um, yeah, I also don't like the angle very much from so far above. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like a drone shot or mm -hmm. something. Right. Okay, so we didn't choose those. Those um, we didn't choose because they look a little posed again. And the smile doesn't look as natural on that top right one, not as large. These, same thing. Smile's not as natural on the left. You're looking off to the right. Um, I wouldn't choose that for any of the mains. Yeah. Those, I think you have better sunglasses shots. All right. That one on the left is fantastic. That's what I mean, a better sunglasses shot. Why? The picture is more interesting in the background. All the palm trees look beautiful, look like you're vacationing somewhere awesome. And then you look really loose in your body language. You notice, guys, if he's leaning back a little bit, it's kind of that cool guy like, I don't got a care in the world. I'm, I'm chilling right now. Um, that gives off a really strong vibe. So I love that one. Great. Um, this one... It's good on the right, uh, probably a strong photo if we need another portrait photo that isn't your main because you're looking a little stoic and off camera, but it's strong. Mm -hmm. uh, those, same thing, we know why people are in them, sunglasses, we can move on. Yeah. Uh, that one on the right is yeah, really ace. Like that one. Yeah, uh, why guys, same thing. The image itself is striking. Um, there's a beach, there's beautiful houses behind him, but more than that, everything about this picture is perfect. His look is kind of mysterious. He's got a little squinty eyes. He's got that model look. Um, his jawline looks fantastic. Like the beard is cut perfectly and everything. The lighting's good. And then most of all, his shirt, the way it's hugging him in this photo makes him look extremely muscular. Like it's perfectly well fitted. Um, this is one of the strongest photos I've seen for sure. Fantastic. Yeah, no, it's, it's also one of my favorites for sure. Mostly because of the Adam's apple. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> like look. That, is, that goes well with the ladies, I feel. <laughs> yeah, totally. You look very masculine in this photo. And that's maybe why you like that balance of like fun and playful with masculine. Like the Adam's apple, the jawline, the beard, the stoicness, and the, yeah. the muscularity feels like a really like strong man kind of 
presence. So yeah, I love it. Yeah, strong All right. was what I was going for. <laughs> you did it, man. <laughs> uh, and then obviously uh, we chose the shirtless picture, um, which I'll just comment on quickly. You don't need shirtless photos, um, but they can be good if they are either of you doing something in the moment, like a sport, playing volleyball, running, um, and it feels like there's some context for you to do it, uh, and not just you kind of flexing in the mirror and whatever. Obviously, I think if you have a good body in the shot, but while you're not doing anything in this photo in terms of sports, you're clearly doing some kind of modeling shot. Um, not just like you're getting a photo shoot. It looks like you went into a studio to do an ad campaign or a modeling shoot. So there's context there. And I think one, you look great in it. And two, it would pique women's curiosity. Like, wow, does this guy model? Or is he doing some kind of campaign? Or was this for an art class? Um, so yeah, I would definitely keep that one. If you guys have That's a photo cool. like that. Yeah, actually. So I personally am not the guy who you know does shirtless photos to impress women or whatever. Um, but the backstory for this one was uh, I used to work as a photographer back then when I took that photo. Yeah. And um, so, you know, you often have to set up the lights before the model arrives. And so I was just setting up the light <laughs> for a shot like that with the model. But then I thought, well, I'm in pretty good shape right now, so I might as well use it eventually. And so, yeah, that's how this photo came into creation. Yeah. And then the photographer is like, we don't need the other model anymore. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd still say the woman looked better, but <laughs> I, I sure. Take it. Um, I like that one on the left. It's kind of cheeky and cute, but probably compared to others, I think there's other ones that make you look happier, yeah, um, or like more warm. Um, cool. I love always having a dog picture, but maybe the quality is a little lower. At least it looks like it in that thumbnail. Yeah, um, I don't quite look at the camera. Yeah, it's, it's and it's maybe weird. a little out of focus. Yeah, yeah so. the dog doesn't look super happy as well. <laughs> uh, cool shot of you playing disc golf on the left. I think anything that showcases your lifestyle or hobbies is always going to be positive. So great choice. Mm -hmm. um, cool. That picture on the left, super cool looking, right? Leather jacket, all black, all black hat, black shades, black and white. Looks like super artsy, um, super cool guy kind of photo. So I love it. Um, obviously, we'll have to awesome. choose the black and white, but very strong. And then compared to the one on the right, better. Mm -hmm. um, photo with you and friends, always good. Especially, again, you guys are doing something. You're at some kind of sporting event. You all look happy. Yeah. You're all close together. And it's easy to pick you out. I think really important sometimes when you do group photos is you need to be easily recognizable quick. If you're like with seven other dudes in the backdrop, like it's hard. But clearly, it's just you and two friends at that point. So... It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll only have to see how much fits in because uh, I think it's squares for. Yeah, it's one by one. Yeah, so we'll have to see if we have to cut a person out, but it's still sure. in there, I think. Um, picture, I love that. Looks candid in the moment, like a friend took a picture. Like to me, everything, uh, photography and art is all subjective, right? And it's all just feeling. Immediately when I look at that photo, it felt like somebody was like, hey, Julian. And then like caught a picture of you. Um, <laughs> and it also has you with your camera as well. So then it's another piece of like, oh, this guy's into photography. He does something artsy while looking kind of in the moment. I love that picture. Cool. Me too. All right. And then the last mm -hmm. one, it looks blurry in the thumbnail, but we chose it when you open it up. Um, because again, it shows a little bit of his photography lifestyle. Obviously, he's in some kind of city. Um, that's interesting. Ooh, even zoomed in, it's pretty nice. Yeah, like when you zoom in, it, it gets much better. Yeah, I love that shot. To have it like that. Yeah, you look, again, I think pretty present, pretty confident, relaxed. Um, the, the tattoo, if you zoomed in, is, is there. Obviously, we'll have multiple pictures with that, but I think at least one or two of your photos, having a little bit of the tattoo to pique some curiosity is nice and something to comment on. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, awesome. so... That's about Thanks. it, guys. I think we're through. Yeah. Yep. And we're going to now sort by the ones we chose to finalize his six or so. Yeah. All right. And. Okay. Here are the finalists. Cool. Let's talk about the space of doing this, uh, the headspace of doing this. Generally, I like to have 
a total of about six photos. I know some you can do more. If you have a lot of great photos, fine. Um, but I think six is a good medium for everybody because like it's enough. It's sometimes worse to have bad photos at the end and take away from the good photos. So sometimes guys like try to put all nine on certain apps and then the last three are kind of meh. Um, so I generally mm. find six is good and I find at least two of them to be that portrait style with a good look of your face and the other three to four um, to be kind of either what I call lifestyle or personality shots. So what does this guy do outside of his house? What kind of friends does he spend time with? What kind of hobbies? What kind of classes? Where does he travel? Or personality. Is he goofy? Is he like playful with friends? Is he really ambitious and, and doing something challenging? Uh, so let's first pick that first one for main kind of just you looking at the camera looking good. So I think that top right could right. be a competitor or the bottom left, but maybe your eyes are a little yeah. less open. I'm squinting too much, I feel, yeah. Yeah, for them to get eye contact. So maybe not on those, not the group photo, neither of those because of the shades, not you looking off camera, yeah. same thing, uh, shades. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, let, go up. I could see potentially the left one working. It breaks the rules of sometimes mm -hmm. your first photo, but I think it's so strong and so striking that that's a contender. Like if, if you cut that yeah. as the one by one, I think it would make, like you look attractive in it. And even though it's not smiling, it's enough intrigue of like, shit, this guy looks really physically attractive that I would probably then swipe in more. So that's an option for me. does no yeah this is what i'm what i've been using i would say that is probably the other strongest so far um sometimes i don't love black and white as the main uh but i think if it's really strong like it is then it's great so that's a maybe yeah. let's go back up once more i want to see the photo of you on the beach I, I also like that one on the the right there too but you have the sunglasses um go up and one more, maybe that. Mm, Let's see your eyes in that one. Really, really far closed. I mean, it could work. Zoomed in, it looks better, I feel. Yeah, I would either choose, my opinion is, and this one zoomed in. Yeah. Or the, where's the one with you in Lisbon that we zoomed in with the camera? Maybe at the end. Mm -hmm. Let's just take one more quick look. This one. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I don't love that I'm looking up for the first photo, to be honest. I agree, but maybe it, it's normally I don't, but also you look so charming. Like the word, the feeling I get is like dashingly charming. Like it doesn't look stoic or really like alpha muscular, but it looks really. Um, you look like a good person. You look confident in it. You look nice in it. So I think at the end of it, I would either choose that beach photo. I mm -hmm. would choose this. I would choose the black and white with you, the camera, or I would choose the other beach photo where you're looking um, off camera in the black sweater, very masculine. Mm -hmm. um, do you personally have a preference? Mm, I mean, I think I can get that one in color. So the question is, if I had that one in color, would that be our winner? I would say probably if you had that one in color. Um, yeah, because, because I, know I have it somewhere in color. Yeah, so um, that would probably be my first choice if it's in color because it also has a mix of like you doing something artsy, you get your tattoo in mm -hmm. the first shot. So there's so much intrigue there that it's like, oh, this guy's a photographer. He's obviously laughing and warm. He's got a little bit of a, a sleeve going. Um, yeah, I think something like that would look awesome. And you're, it really looks like somebody made you laugh. So that'd be my number one. I would split test okay. between that and the beach photo looking off to the side. Yep, that one on the left. That one, okay. Or maybe the Lisbon one that we liked that we zoomed in on. So one, a, yeah. one right now would be that the color version of the one we chose and I would split test the other two. And guys, you should split test. What that means is start with this one. We're all speculating. So that's what we're gonna settle on, but it's all speculation. 
Um, what matters is what women in your area and of your type and your personality, that, that, that whole equation resonate with. Um, and the only way you know is test. So I'd probably put this up for a week or two. On Tinder, you can use mm -hmm. smart photos, which will try to guess the best photo based on people using it. Sometimes I feel like it doesn't change it really. Um, and then if in a week or two, you're like, eh, I still am not getting maybe the results I'm looking for, swap it out and see if things change. Um, and mm -hmm. run it for, I say run each split test for a week or two to give it enough time for the algorithm to change and for other people to see the photos. And what is your metric to, to measure success there? on these tests? Is it matches? Is it likes? I mean, to, to see them, we probably uh, have to do a, a premium account or like, what, what do you use for that? For me, it's matches. Um, I think of it as conversions, right? Somebody might mm -hmm. like a photo and think it's interesting, but is it enough for them to reach out? I appreciate things, but I don't necessarily want to buy them. So for me, it's like, do right. they match? Um, and is it the quantity or quality of, of person you're looking for? Um, mm -hmm. so there's no exact numbers. Some guys want to go on five dates a week. Some people only want to be able to date one, one person. So I would say as long as you're satisfied with the matches you're getting and you don't feel like you have to wait weeks or months on end, you're probably good. If not split test mm -hmm. after a week and see what happens. Okay. So like one idea I had regarding those tests is, you know, you could basically use a, a first photo, then do a boost. Uh, see okay. how many matches you get from that boost and then yeah next day or a few days later do it with another first photo and and see the matches that way just because if you only do it organically uh, like the question is how many people are actually going to see it right yeah i love that idea that's why i think if you do it organically you have to give it time and you have to swipe so that other people are mm -hmm. seeing it but the boost idea is pretty fantastic um and to be honest just to comment guys i've said this before but Boosts and spotlights are my favorite premium feature because these apps know that they need to make money. And the way that they make money is these services. And they know that if somebody's investing, they want to keep them hooked. So they're generally going to reward it. So I like them because I don't care how much like which people liked me and, and being able to go backwards on an old profile I didn't swipe on. I think what's more, a higher reward is getting a... a a set time where all of a sudden your profile's on the top of a ton of people's profiles and a top of high ranked profiles, that's usually going to be the most fruitful. I love that idea, man. I think doing boosts as split tests is probably cool and it's going to cost you 20 or $30, but then you don't beat your head up against the wall for a month, like wondering what's not working. Right. Yeah, for sure. It's also, there's probably a reason why they never include the boosts and the other premium features, right? So it's yeah, sure. like you always have to buy them extra. Like that's the thing that's working from these premium features. I didn't think of the psychology of that. That's actually very true is they're separating out their most valuable product that works because then they know if it works for you, you're going to pay individually for that. Maybe even on top of the other premium features. Mm -hmm. So guys, maybe just in, in my experience, it's better to buy boosts than to buy the other premium features if you decide. I would agree 100%, 100%. And I think it is cool. like, obviously money is, is, is expensive for people, but like imagine your time. If a boost mm -hmm. a week helps you land an extra date or two a week, what's that worth to you? Is it worth the $10? I think for most people it is. Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right. Cool. Let's choose cool. finally our best lifestyle ones and I'll try to be quick. Um, all, right. all right. So for the second one, I usually have a lifestyle picture um, or personality picture, not another portrait picture. That's just personal preference. Um, mm -hmm. So let's go through them. Scroll. Yep. Um, personally, I'll tell you. Keep going. So I mean, we're gonna take that in some place, right? But this is not what you're looking for with lifestyle. Um, probably not. Probably not. Okay. Although it is kind of interesting. It might be. It might be that. Let's see. Yeah. Because I was thinking this one would be a lifestyle candidate for me. Yes. Um, I like it. I don't. I want something generally a little. I, since you have higher quality mm -hmm. photos, I love the quality of the other ones. But I like that. So okay. let's see if there's something else that's better. Um, let's see. Keep going. Keep going. This one. I like. That one might be. That that one you 
you were talking about, right? Yep, yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, okay. I mean... I'd probably take one pick with friends. Yeah. Um, and would you even do two lifestyle? Like, I feel I have more good lifestyle than others. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think three or four lifestyle or personality shots. So yeah, maybe the mm -hmm. second one with you and some of your friends, um, either the ones there with us or, yeah. you know, I mean, those... I think the other one is more interesting, uh, that one, yeah. just because it's, it was taken at an event. Yeah. And you look happy and they're kind of being cheeky and everyone's close. So there's a lot of mm -hmm. closeness to the photo. So yeah, I'd probably pick that maybe a second. I like yeah. that. Let me just as well. zoom in real quick. Just see, like it's probably gonna be more like this. You know? But I think that's fine. Then they at least know that there's other friends in there, and then it's actually nice that you're like, you know, kind of front and center. Cool. All right. Love it. I'm gonna All right. it with a different color. All right, and then third would either be, um, the one of you on the beach. Uh, or the Lisbon one if we didn't choose that as the first. But probably that yeah. one would be third. That okay. one, for sure. Then fourth. Probably that one as well. I might I might do that one fifth. I I want to okay. like I want it to be surprising. I think if they get that deep in your profile and they're interested, and then suddenly you have a shirtless awesome pick, I think it's like really <laughs> powerful after like, hey, funny, funny, cool, cool. Whoa, I did not see that coming. So that contrast I think is really powerful. It could be in this fourth position, but I might put it on fifth. Um, mm -hmm. And then otherwise I like the sunglasses there of you. Uh, which either, one? Either one of those, that one or that the one? one under. That one, that one. Sunglasses one could also be this. Yeah, I think that same thing. You're obviously tr somewhere nice. I can see palm trees in the background, even when it's black and white. Um, okay. So I'd probably pick one of those as number four. I also like, if you scroll to the mm -hmm. top real quick. All the way? Yep, uh, down one. Uh, I like that one on the left, yeah. but that's that up one. to you if you like it. Yeah, it, it's just that that was taken in the same series as my number one pick. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Good thing to know for you guys. I think you don't wanna have pictures multiple photos with the same outfit in the same day. So even when you're getting a photo shoot, I tell guys bring two or three outfits and ask the photographer to go to two or three different backdrops. Because yeah, if it looks like, oh, this guy got a photo shoot with a bunch of the same things, it doesn't perform well. So yeah, I think one of those other ones for your fourth, I think the fifth would be the modeling shot for me. Okay, uh, how about that one for the fourth? Oh yes, maybe for me that's the strongest. Because I also yeah, know your personality. I, think. I I know your personality. Like the white tee kind of cash um, is you, and it, it is clearly it's really beautiful. It almost looks like there's a giant pool behind you. Um, yeah. Okay. And then fifth, I would do your modeling shot. All right. And then sixth, I think any one of the ones we we said that is left over. To be honest, mm -hmm. um, I know the disc golf could be. If you think it's interesting, yeah, and you really, it's I mean, a big you really part of your like life. That one, I do like so, that one. I think maybe let's go with that one. Cool. All right. Uh, how many do we have? Do we have six already? I think we have six. Perfect. Then I think we can jump over soon, uh, and we're gonna catch you once I uploaded those onto my profile, I guess. Yeah, so to recap, guys, let's just say six photos, one or two portrait up close, no sunglasses, looking at the camera sometimes, especially with a natural smile. Otherwise, showcase what kind of person you are in terms of lifestyle, hobbies, travel, activities, or are you with friends? Are you joyous? Are you silly? Um, just to create kind of that narrative um, and that ebb and flow of this guy does something more than just chill in his house. And this guy is not only silly, but he can be strong, a leader, assertive, curious, thoughtful. Uh, and yeah, this is, before we sign off, this is why you get good photos, guys. Um, you can't 
you can't supplement this with anything else. You can't write some good content or hope that you're going to pay for boosts with mediocre photos and suddenly it's going to change everything. It might improve it a little bit, but focus on taking good pictures first and foremost, and the online dating experience will be a hundred times easier.